all my YouTube family as well as my pre-healthcare professionals alike. I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be discussing another function in the body, organs, and systems, and that is the immune system. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and better yet, hit that bell notification. It lets you know when I post new content here on YouTube. And give this video a big thumbs up. That way other people that are looking for the ATIT's review videos know that this is a good video to help you pass it like a boss. Questions related to the bodily organs and systems will test your knowledge of structures and functions within the 10 human organ systems that are essential to life. You may also be tested on vocabulary terms related to understanding of anatomy. You must understand these vital body systems when caring for patients' comorbidities. Please note that the ATITs will only cover basic knowledge of bodily organs and systems. More in-depth knowledge will be covered in our anatomy and physiology series. Let's get started on understanding how the bodily organs and systems are important on the ATITs. The immune system is supported by different defense mechanisms in the body to prevent disease and bacterial pathogens from developing inside the body. An immune response occurs when the body recognizes these pathogens and creates an action against them. Harmful molecules that are recognized and elicit an immune response are called antigens. In response to antigens, the bodies make antibodies to fight off specific antigen cells. The immune system is divided into two categories, beginning with the innate immunity. This refers to the nonspecific response mechanisms that begin immediately or within hours of an antigen's appearance. The innate immunity system includes physical barriers such as the skin and mucus, chemicals found within the blood, and the immune system cells that attack foreign cells that are found within the body. The innate immune system or response is activated by the chemical properties of that antigen. Adaptive immunity or acquired immunity, our second category, refers to an antigen specific immune response and is more complex than the innate immunity system. An antigen first must be processed and recognized as foreign. Then the adaptive immunity system creates immune cells specifically designed to attack that antigen. Adaptive immunity also provides memory of an antigen and makes future responses to that antigen more efficient. The body's first line of defense against pathogens include the skin and various secretions such as sweat and saliva. If pathogens successfully enter the body, often a fever or inflammation will occur to fight off an infection. Lymphocytes, special white blood cells, are formed in response to certain antigens. Some examples of lymphocytes include natural killer cells. They work against cells infected with bacteria and viruses. T cells. They attack body cells infected with pathogens. And B cells. They produce specific antibodies. Within our immune system, there are two different kinds of immunities. Active immunity develops from natural exposure to pathogens and an immune response. It can also be mimicked through vaccinations, where an individual is given a weakened antigen so the body can induce a response and build memory cells. Passive immunity elicits a temporary response when a person is given antibodies produced by another person or animal, such as maternal antibodies or blood transfusion products. Lastly, when the immune system is compromised, illness will occur with differing levels of severity. Sometimes the illness will manifest into a common cold, while other pathogens, such as cancer cells, will evade immune responses. If the immune system mistakenly targets host cells, these are our own personal cells found within our body, this can lead to an autoimmune disease response. I hope that this video has helped for you to pass your ATITs like a boss the first time. If you haven't done so already, I want to invite you over to my website at www.nursechung.com. There, there's additional resources for you to help you pass this exam. We've got practice questions as well as PDFs of the PowerPoints that I show in these videos. If you haven't done so, make sure that you follow me on my social media. I am on Facebook and Instagram. And until next time, I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye!